Hello and welcome back everybody. I hope you're all doing good and taking great care. So it's freezing cold here at our place and you know I thought to just refresh myself and paint something really therapeutic and enjoy the process. So before I get started, I wanted to prime my canvas so I'm applying this gesso and I let it dry completely. Basically, I want a very smooth surface to paint the eye and it's always great to paint portraits and this kind of realistic look on a clean, smooth surface always. And I'll be using that canvas in my next painting and for the first painting, I'm picking up this acrylic painting paper. You can of course use a canvas. But I thought many of you would be painting this on an acrylic painting paper. So just let me just give you a demo on this paper as well. So in the first step, we're just going to be drawing a basic rough design of the eye. And I've already taught to you, you know, in detail video that how to make realistic looking eyes. So you'll be able to find the link in the eye button and also find it in the description box below. So here I'm first making the skin tone first by mixing some lemon yellow, cadmium red, white and burnt sienna together. So first by using a filbert brush, you can also use a flat brush, basically a small flat brush or filbert brush. I'm applying strokes like this, keeping in mind the highlight and the dark areas around the eye area. Once it is done, you can use a separate small flat brush and just blend the colors there and make it smooth. So you can also leave it as it is as I like more of that loose stroke painting technique more and I enjoy making portraits in that style more. But I'm just giving you a more realistic and blended kind of effect and demonstration in the first eye. And this eye painting took about one and a half hours for me to paint and if in case you're interested to watch the video in real time and learn this painting with me with my personal guidance and support then you can join me on my patreon the link will be mentioned in the description box below and this entire painting is going to be so therapeutic it can be a great fun time for you you know just learning the basic technique of making this beautiful eye area appear 3D in the protruding parts and also adding that shadow effect is going to add so much of realistic effect to your eye and of course the lens area, the center eyeball can be completely of your choice. You can make them grey, brown or this beautiful blue shade that I'm using. So do anything that you want that just the shade can be of your choice but just remember to add the highlights and the depth there because at the end you just want to add a lot of realism to this lens area because I really would emphasize you know do a lot of work on this lens area because this is going to be the most important element it's going to add so much of beauty it's going to make it appear much more natural and realistic. So do work a lot on the center lens area as well and of course keep in mind where exactly the light is going to fall and the shadows and everything and it's going to come out really beautiful. And you must be also wondering then what about the men's eye because you know if in future if you ever want to paint a portrait of a man then what would be the difference? Then I think the basic difference would come in the eyebrows and the eyelashes. Like here as you can see I am making the eyebrows very thick so it's you know giving a more masculine look to this particular painting and so if you make it a little thin it's going to make it look very feminine. And I have a little secret here to share with you that I think in the entire pandemic my eyebrows exactly look like this. Because, you know, there were no parlors and, you know, nowhere to go. So I had this thick eyebrows all the time. And uh, I know many of you would also relate with me. What do you think? So, but now I think we are so used to the natural, uh, you know, hair and the way we are. And I think it's beautiful to just be what we are and just accept ourselves. So, yeah. Anyway, coming back to the painting, I made the eyebrows a little thin and also pointed. So you can see that it looks more feminine. So this is the only difference, you know, just make it a little thin and also add those beautiful long eyelashes to give it a more feminine look.
now it's almost ready and for the final finishing we're going to be adding highlights on the protruding parts of the face and then it's going to be ready and this is the final look so the original paintings along with its prints will also be available for sale on my art store you can check out the link in the description box below and now moving on to the next eye painting and I personally love this style just using these loose strokes and basically it's not going to have that kind of blending that we did in the first painting. Along with that it's also going to have some more beautiful aesthetic looks around like the flowers and everything that we're going to be adding later. So I personally love this style of you know keeping it you know very loose and just creating the kind of effect by adding the darker tones on the areas where we want to create the shadow and the lighter ones for the highlights. And I personally enjoy this kind of style of painting more and because I'm just learning myself and I'm just exploring my own art and I want to learn new things and explore, you know, different, different techniques and styles and know exactly what I personally like and enjoy doing the most. So I think this is by now something that I really enjoy and like. So yeah, in this painting as well, we're going to be following the same steps as we did in the previous painting and let's see how it turns out to be. And now it's ready. I hope you enjoyed making these paintings with me and I'll see you very soon in the next painting tutorial. Till then take care and thanks for watching.